the undercover cop movies. I'm doing kindergarten cop. My movie gets pretty traumatized. Your family better buckle up. I am doing 21 Jump Street. Freeze! What's up, YouTube? Drive by Movies here, and you are watching Screen Scuffle. My name is James. My name is Blaze. And today, our scuffle is going to be undercover cop movies. But this week, we're doing something a little different. We are we chose movies that we both like, but I'm defending a movie that I think you like more, and you are defending a movie that I like more. Did I almost I just feel say? like I want to lose then. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this week I'm doing Kindergarten Cop, the beloved movie from the 80s starring none other than the Governor. And I am doing 21 Jump Street brought to us by Phil Lord and Chris Miller and starring Shannon Tatum and Jonah Hill. Yeah. Now and also Academy Award winning actress Brie Larson in your movie too. <laughs> Of course. So yeah. that's a plus right there, yeah. let's be honest. A lot of recognizable faces in that movie, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Kindergarten Cop. Not so many. Well, actually, a lot of recognizable kid faces, mm -hmm. surprisingly. Come on, raise your hands. Let's see them. I can't remember the actor's names off the top of my head, but I, was, I saw it for the first time uh, in preparation for the show. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I was like, oh, isn't that the daughter from Beethoven? Beethoven, you saved my life. Uh, the one who has to go to the bathroom early on in the movie mm -hmm. and there's like a little redhead boy who's like stranger at the end of the movie and i was like oh yeah that's the annoying stoner guy from uh return to sleep away camp of all movies Ooh, i don't remember that, <laughs> that, that i've that seen the movie cut. but i don't remember that that's a deep cut yeah other than that though it's really just arnold as the only person that i like know all the other actors i'm not really mm -hmm. familiar with but i was so caught off guard by how sweet and cute the movie was who is your daddy and what does he do i've never seen arnold like kind of get so lighthearted and have like deep moments and stuff yeah. uh we've seen it in kind of other movies like jingle all the way i guess you picked the wrong day <laughs> but that's more like comedic and he's not trying as much and it felt like he actually was trying with kindergarten cop mm -hmm. like uh, we have a movie that's really funny and has a lot of depth to it um and then like uh like just the fact that like it starts off with him being like this crazy normal arnold cop guy that you would imagine where he's like kicks ass and doesn't hold back at all no more complaining no more mr kim left to go to the bathroom nothing there is no bathroom threatening people with shotguns for like normal civilians it's like jesus this guy's gonna teach kids and it's too inspired by the terminator almost yeah. <laughs> like it's like it's a tough fault i yeah. feel like but that's just like was arnold's career at the time yeah uh but yeah i think if you're gonna go with a 21 jump street the better undercover cop movie <laughs> it has to do because one of the things that's a huge plus for this movie obviously we're talking about a show that starred johnny depp and then this movie is like a fun, this is like one of the first like fun remakes or sequels or whatever, like that utilize the original source material, but twisted it in such a way to make it fresh and fun again and almost something totally different than what it was originally. Because this is like a wacky R rated comedy. I swear to God, you're gonna keep me. Oh, hey, yo. Dad, he's He's just trying to grab my dick, dude. Where yours is more of like an after school special style kind of movie. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah. Uh, you I know, mean, it's safe to watch with the family like mine. Like your family better buckle up. Yeah. Well, my movie gets pretty traumatizing at the end. <laughs> I was like, this kid's going to need some serious therapy. And I was dying laughing at the <laughs> thought of it. That's the sick, dark humor of me, though, where like, yeah. it's like, damn, Arnold killed this kid's dad right in front of him. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, the dad is like pointing his a gun at his own son. And he's just like, I'll do it. Like, I'm mad right now. I'm insane. And yeah. like, just the fact that he shot Arnold in front of the kid. And then like the mom, his own mom, like shoots like Arnold at one point. And then Arnold just kills like both of them. And I was like jesus this movie got dark out of nowhere mm -hmm. another thing for my movie you have to think about cameos in the 80s they didn't like cameos weren't really that big of a thing back then yeah. now if your movie doesn't have a cameo are you even making a movie <laughs> 
<laughs> like honestly, like if your movie doesn't That's have a Stanley com- like a Stanley cameo, I think Kevin Smith still has like Stanley cameos and everything, even though Stanley's dead. Yeah. Marvel shot a thousand Stanley cameos that are just waiting, ready to go. They just put a Stanley in front of a green screen with different outfits. Mm-hmm. Maybe the green screen the outfits on or something. But anyways, yeah, mine has one of the sickest cameos with Johnny Depp. But he, it's his character from the show. He's just been undercover this yeah. whole time. Mm-hmm. So, well, here's the thing though. Martin Scorsese said that this movie was a real movie versus 21 Jump Street is just basically a Marvel movie because we all know that cameos don't make a movie great. A cinema snobs, at least. Like, yeah, if you're a Marvel fan, I know you love that shit. But, but they don't, ma- they, maybe they don't make a movie great. Sure, but they elevate a movie. <laughs> my, yeah, sure, I guess you could say that. Yeah. But my movie's got the one and only Arnold, though. My movie just demonstrate what Phil Lord and Chris Miller were capable of, though. A lot of people, they weren't on their map. And this is the movie where, like, people didn't see Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, which is also a great piece of cinema if you haven't watched it. <laughs> I haven't, but also, I it's good. Yeah, it's great. Like, you might just think, oh, this is a kid's movie, but it's on, like, Paddington, two levels of good kid's Get movies. Get out of here. <laughs> Have you seen the Rotten Tomatoes for Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs? I have not, though. It's like 100%. <laughs> I think it's like higher than, than Paddington, too. No. My movie is directed by Ivan Reitman. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Don't even get me started. That's a negative. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah he direct, didn't he direct the last Ghostbusters? Uh, no, that or was he has his a son. Cameo that's his last? son who directed it. Well, he directed Ghostbusters yes. 2, and that's enough. Well, Ghostbusters 1 also. Classic. I, I'm a, I'm actually a bigger Ghostbusters 2 fan if I think about it. It's more nostalgic for yeah. me. I, I, I get that. It's a negative too, on yeah. both sides. Yeah. But yeah. Do you remember 22 Jump Street at all? Uh, I remember there's a yacht and a boat, I yeah. feel like, and it takes place in like Miami or something. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would say just 21 Jump Street really reinvented the game. It gave us what you see in modern cinema now. And we all know that modern cinema is better than past cinema. Mm-hmm. So there you go right there yeah. i feel like that's a little button on my argument well my argument is that like it changed arnold's perception of like he doesn't have to just be the commando guy he can be the commando guy as well as a fun kindergarten teacher my movie's got the classic villain though the ponytail guy with the big 80s suit a lot of money it's yeah but it's a classic out, outdated villain though now mm-hmm. yeah mine the villain is drugs <laughs> <laughs> i right, take it here so i know you're cool uh, I'm sorry. What? Just and the new drug that has what? It's the funniest scene in the movie. Is the drug scene? Everyone loves that scene. Carry the two changing its atomic isotoner into a radioactive spider. <laughs> you science. That's like literally the epitome of of that that era of raunchy comedy. Mm. Is that scene? Nice. And you have nothing like that. Well, yeah, I guess that like kind of closes my argument, I guess. Like, yeah, I feel like I'm not ending on a good note, but let's get the voice of God. Uh, Jordan, what are your initial thoughts on who won this battle? <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I, and like I said, I think I like that one better of the two. So I still, I, I I'm actually a recently. kindergarten cop yeah. fan yeah. more. So I'm disappointed in myself that I won. <laughs> Good point there. Uh, so it's like a win lose situation for yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a fun time, though. Let us know what else would make a great movie argument and what we should defend. It did Who won this fight? Do you agree with uh, the voice of God Jordan's uh, touch or idea on who won? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, Be sure to check out another new episode coming up. Uh, We love doing these and yeah, let us know. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to get all of our latest updates.